Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are going to continue our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Welcome in Koneko. Welcome Kendra. Thank you guys for filling up those Pokemon names. Um, Kendra, I literally laughed out loud when you put in politician. I can't wait to see who ends up with the name politician. Um, I wonder if that's even like too many characters, if, it, if it'll fit. We'll find out. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't really have any specific announcements for this intro t uh, thing today, but thank you guys for filling up those Pokemon name suggestions. We will catch a couple new ones today, so we'll use some of those. We'll definitely use some of those. But as you guys know, we like to start out usually with a little personality quiz. Here's the one we're going to do today. Let me show it up on screen. We're going to do which of Disney's Encanto characters are you by Isabella Rose 2. And if we get Mirabelle, I riot. So <laughs> let's hope we get somebody other than her. We're going to find out. It says, put your name and let's roll PS. The questions are a bit weird. Um, I thought this was funny. So that's why I chose this one out of the myriad of similar quizzes. I haven't seen Encanto yet. This could be fun. Oh, yeah. Um, the music is really good. I'm sorry, give me one second. Sorry, I had to close the door. Um, the music is really good. Uh, I have an issue with the main characters I talked about on Saturday's stream. Um, but it's very colorful and the animation's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. The music slaps and it's very pretty. All that's true. So I would recommend giving it a watch. Okay, color. Of course, pink, but they do have rainbow on here. So that's like really hard. <sighs> pink versus rainbow i don't know i think i have to go with the rainbow i just i i love the you know barfing all the colors everywhere uh favorite fast food place subway mcdonald's burger king wendy's chick-fil-a bojangles oh no this is a problem um i am a, a southern girl as y'all know so i do love me some chick-fil-a but I really love McDonald's, but only when it's fresh. If, if McDonald's has been sitting out for any time at all, if they didn't make my food fresh, it's not good. But fresh McDonald's is literally like everything, everything. So we're going to mark McDonald's, I think. It's asked me to pick a power and I have to ask, does shapeshifting include turning into animals? So in Encanto specifically, no, the shapeshifter character did not turn into animals. As I recall, they only turned into other people, I think. I don't remember. Kendra can probably answer that better than... I can because she has a child, so she's seen this movie more than once, <laughs> to say the least. All right, pick a song lyric. I apologize. I don't believe you, quiz maker. I don't think you apologize. You took it all, but I'm still breathing. You don't know some girls know how to have some fun. You know some girls get everything they want. Long live the king. You a king, you know it. That just sits on his procast. <laughs> how would you like it if i came over with my click watch if you're smart i can see the lightning coming from your ears yeah i see you're frightened hey look ma i made it i'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist lunar hey hey i know you're you're home for not such nice reasons but i'm so glad you're able to make it this evening so welcome in <laughs> um we're gonna go with this one we're gonna go with this one i like to have fun so there we go. Pick a power from the Madrigal family. Super hearing, shape shifting, animal communication, weather control, limitless flowers and plants, superhuman strength. We're going to go with shape shifting. I am for that. Oh, you did? Oh, congratulations, Lunar. Oh, what is it? Is it something like, is it something similar to what you're doing now? Is it different? Like, what is it? Um, pick a movie, Clueless, Everything, Everything, The Sun is Also a Star, Mean Girls, oh man, I don't even have to read the rest, that's the movie. Perks of Being a Wallflower, about, yeah, 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 it's Mean Girls, it's Mean Girls, I love Mean Girls. Pick a sport, soccer, volleyball, cheerleading, gymnastics, lacrosse, ice hockey, ice hockey swimming, where's football? Oh, I don't know, there's no football on here. Um, I guess, lacrosse, I guess, I mean, I like Teen Wolf, no, lacrosse, that's fine. Oh, what a pain management clinic. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Lunar. I assume you're doing like some admin work for them. Oh my gosh, now the dog wants out. Hang on, guys. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Go on. Here we go. The boys are watching a movie, so I'm trying to not disturb them. 
But the animals want in and out, of course. Pick a fruit. Apple, raspberry. Oh, I love raspberries. Um, grapes, oranges, cherries, dragon fruit, blueberries. Yes, raspberries. I'm definitely a berry person. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. Uh, that's what I'm into. So raspberries. But raspberries are the best one. That's definitely a favorite flavor of mine. This question is timed. You must answer it within, oh, one hour. <laughs> Say what's on your mind. This is a judge-free area. No one else will see this but me. You're safe here. You have an hour to let it all out. <laughs> I hate free type answer questions in you quiz. I never answer them. This is the first one I've actually typed something on stream. All right. Isabella! Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I didn't get Mirabelle, so I'm not mad. Let's see. Um, oh, Kendra, you got Dolores. Oh, I love that for you. Koneko got Luisa. People see you as intimidating, but on the inside, you're very soft, and you just want to be loved and seen as someone approachable and friendly. Aww. It's really not a surprise, Kendra. It's really not. Um, it's really not, but you know, you know. Uh, you're seen as golden by your friends and family. You have perfect eyes, perfect hair, perfect teeth. I don't have perfect teeth. You probably have seen it on lots of videos. I have a snaggle tooth down at the bottom. Um, but behind all that is someone who just wants to be loved and appreciated for who you are. That's true. Um, you don't like having the title of golden child and you just want to be accepted. Yeah, that's all true. I think the dog wants back in. I'm so sorry, guys. Come, really. Come on. Can we get your water? Here, I'll bring your water in. Here we go. Now your water's in here. Here we go. Good girl. Karen, perfect professional. Confirmed. I try to be. I try to be. I don't always achieve it, but you know. <laughs> you know. That's how you make the money. All right, so this is what I got. Isabel, I'm happy with that result. It's not, it's not Mirabelle, so I don't have to riot. I'm happy with this. She's cool, okay? She may, she might have the worst song in the movie, the only song I really didn't like, but as a character, she's great. All the characters are great except Mirabelle. Okay, let's get the game set up, y'all. Let's get the game set up. So, oh, you got the same result. Oh, how cool. Lunar, have you seen Encanto? I feel like everyone's seen Encanto at this point. It's like a whole thing. You can hear that? Yes, it looks like so. Nope, I have not. Oh, okay. It's like the hotness right now. Here we go. All right. Looking at the levels. It still feels like maybe the starting screen is just really loud. Okay, so last time where we stopped, I stopped right in front of the first gym and I paused um, there and we leveled up all of our Pokemon. So let me show you guys what team we have now. Yes, this is last time. We did all of those things. Yes, okay. So, we have Landon the Bulbasaur. Jane, welcome, welcome in. How are you doing? It does seem like it's still a little loud. Hang on, let me fix this. Nope, that's not what I wanted. It must reset every time. VBA must reset every time it comes on. Okay, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. You'll tell me if I made it too quiet. Okay, anyway, we've got Landon the Bulbasaur, who is probably about to sweep this gym for us. We've got Ulu, is now a Beedrill, so um, he has a lot of changes. So he is, um, he has Fury Attack, String Shot, Poison Sting, and Harden now. We leveled him up quite a bit. We've got Moose the Rattata, he has not really changed a lot, and then Moisty the Pidgey, um, who now has an actual flying move. So he has Gust, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and Tackle. But um, what we really wanted to do was level up Landon, of course, because now Landon has Vine Whip, which is absolutely gonna destroy this gym we're about to go take on. So here we go, we're gonna take on our first gym challenge with Brock. Disney movies are best to watch a year after they come out when all the discourse DM has happened already. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so right, Koneko. You're so right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hiya, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. 
Let me take you to the top. Sure. All right, let's get this happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. So if you haven't figured out how to like lead specific Pokemon, he's basically telling you to do that, and they'll give you tips. Those guys will give you tips throughout the game. <clears throat> Luca is still a standout movie in 2021 of my heart. Stop right there, kid. Um, I haven't watched Luca yet. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. That's not true. I'm about to one-shot all your Pokemon, sir. Get ready, Camper Liam. <laughs> I know, I know, Kendra. I'm failing. I'm failing. But I have not. I have not watched Luca. I know I need to. It's super effective. They yell, shut up, Bruno, in it. That's funny. <laughs> um, watch it for me. Okay, I will. I will watch it. That song is still in my head. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. I can't, it just won't stop. Over and over, all day long. I've listened to it like 60 times at this point. Like, it's forever and ever. Bye, Sandshrew. See you never. <clears throat> all right, so he leveled up uh, Poison Powder. Sure, I guess. You don't need Growl. You can have Poison Powder instead, that's fine. I'm gonna use it right now. Watch the main character make bad choices. Thank you, you know I love that. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a Butterfree. I didn't get a Butterfree, so I really do want a Sleeper, and I don't know yet if I'm gonna get a Jigglypuff on the next route. I probably will, but I might not. So I actually think I'd prefer to have Sleep Powder over Poison Powder, but I just don't know yet. Mm, let's actually replace Tackle for now, and then the next move I get that I want, I'll replace either Sleep Powder or Poison Powder, depending on whether I get a Jigglypuff coming or not. Jane, stop it! <laughs> new to the stream! New. Well, since you're new, Jane, <laughs> since you're new, we're playing uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. We're doing a Nuzlocke right now, and you guys can pick names for my Pokemon, so be sure to do that down in the Channel Point Redeems. You can also... Um, add in some points for finishing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now I know how that game works. I can actually finish it. I uh, I didn't know and I thought we were done with the game when we played it over Halloween, but we are not. So you are here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and I have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock type. Ha ha ha. You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Brock's Pokemon are all rock hard because he is just horny as fuck. All the time. And um, that's why he loves rock Pokemon so much. Now you know. Fun Pokemon facts with Karen. Taylor. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Lunar. Mr. Jane. I like that as well. No, I'm not changing Pokemon. Bulbasaur is about to one-shot this Onyx bitch. Bye. Bye, Brock. I beat you. You're not horny anymore. Booty. <laughs> Our rival's name is Booty. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Okay, okay, so we can, haha, ha, I can make it show. Boulder Badge, look, it's underneath my name, we got all of our badges. Okay, we've got one. Do, 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 do. There's Pokemon Double Battles, I think, in Gen 3. It's a young couple, she has a cloister, and he has an onyx. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just having the boulder badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the flash outside battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move flash to use it. You would be the one that allows us to use flash outside of battle, Brock. You would. Yeah, I got some Poke Dollars. Landon is evolving. Aw, oh, that's cool. That's very cool and sexy of Landon. Are you okay, Riri? That's so not spot you normally sit. Are you okay? Do, 
do 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 Ivysaur! Wait, take this with you. You received TM-39 from Brock. A TM technical machine contains technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches it teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyway, TM-39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. All right. First badge acquired. Um, do we pick the Pokemon we name, or is it just going to a queue? So they're all in a queue right now, and I'll pick from that list anytime we catch a Pokemon. Speaking of which, we're about to leave here. Oh, that's not... Go away. Okay. Uh, enter is what I meant to pick. Um, we need to look at how many Pokeballs we have. So we got... Okay, we're good on those. We're good on... We're good on Pokeballs, okay. We're good. We're good to continue. Let's heal up real quick, even though we didn't take any damage. Just for funsies. But yeah, that's what I did last time, Lunar. Whenever I caught a Pokemon, I just looked at kind of like what names were in the queue, and I picked the one that I thought would be the most interesting for that Pokemon. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. So good job filling up the queue, guys. Thank y'all so much. Oh, Karen! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Running shoes! Yeah, we can go fast, fast now. Karen, switch shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Thank you! Thank you, I appreciate it. There's a letter attached. Dear Karen, here is a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up from mom. Aww, that's so nice. Thanks, mom. Appreciate it. Oh, I should have switched to somebody else first. <gasps> Oops. Oops. I really don't need um, Ivysaur to get more experience right now, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Actually, it's okay. Bulbasaur can kill this one. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's not very effective. But it's okay. You got good stab and you're overleveled, so you can kill this one. Yeah, super effective. Barely killed me. We need to put Rattata first, I think. Pidgey again? Yes. We're gonna put Moose. Go, Moose! Mm, yeah, oh, he, have, he has Hyper Fang now, which, um, which he didn't have before, so we're gonna be using that. Hyper Fang and Quick Attack. Good combos. And what I'm going to try to do... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong freaking button. I mean to press enter. Um, what I keep... Uh, what I think I'm going to do is... Fight all these trainers. And then we're going to try to do the catch at the end of this route. In the grass patch at the very end. Because then I have a higher chance to try to get a Jigglypuff. Which is what I really want. What I really, really want. Zigga Zigga. <clears throat> Caterpie. Oh, he's a bug catcher. Man, I should have put Pidgey first. Let's actually switch to him. Come on, Moisty. Oh, thank you for the Hydrate Lunar. Thank you so much. Okay, so tell me all about this new job. What else do you know about it? Um, besides, where did you say it's at? It was a new doctor's type place. But now I can't remember. Pain clinic or something like that? Like, tell me about it. Did they seem cool? Did like the interview go good? Do you think it's gonna be like a good environment? Are they nice? Uh, no, we can keep Pidgey. I'm so not used to naming my Pokemon, I'm gonna try to do my best to verbally say the names, but like, honestly, <laughs> I'm not used to it. I'm not used to nicknaming my Pokemon, like, ever. So I'm used to just, like, going visually by their species name. No, we can keep Pidgey. Keep going, Pidgey. Gust. It's super effective.
Yes, I did beat you. I did, I did. Okay, this guy. So I do want to... Let's see. Who do I have out front? Moose. Yeah, we'll keep that for the youngster. That's fine. Me who always names Pokemon, how can you not name Pokemon? <laughs> I don't! Like, the only time I really that I've named Pokemon is not even in the games. Like, if I'm doing, like, a, a Pokemon RP, which I've, I've been in a couple of those, then of course they get names, you know. But, um, but I, I just typically in the games do not name my Pokemon. It's just, like, not something I do. Ugh, rude. How dare he quick attack me. He fears my one-shot Hyper Fang. Of course. <gasps> of course. Of course. Alright, here we go. Hyper Fang! Yeah, good job not missing, Moose. You're the- you're the real one. No more quick attack, so he dies. I once forgot the species name of my Pokemon because I've been calling it by the nickname. <laughs> oh, that's too funny, Koneko. That's too funny. Alright. Let's see. Ah, I keep pressing that instead of enter. Okay. Um, I want to use a potion on Moose. And then we're going to I think that's, that looks like a bug catcher, so... Oh my god. Press enter, Karen, not the... whatever that is, X or Y button. I don't need the tutorial! Mm, yeah, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. Have you ever heard Karen so giddy like she's different on Pokemon? <laughs> I love Pokemon! I don't know, it's just like, it's the best! Um, I went for the interview on Thursday before New Year's, and I was told that day that they went with the other person. Oh, I do remember that, Lunar. Um, but they wanted to keep your resume on file. So today, about noon, I got a call asking if they were still looking because they had staffing change, and I started to da I should. So I should be here for your Thursday streams because the hours are 8 to 5 Monday through. Yes, this is the one I was thinking that you were, like, feeling really confident that you got, and then it turned out they, they chose somebody else. Um, unfortunately. So I'm really excited for you. I, I, I feel like this one's kind of like, this feels like the one you were meant to have, you know what I mean? Based on all those interviews that you were doing back at the time. So, um, I'm really, really happy for you. Not as bad as little baby Lucky thinking Ninetales was named Vulpix and Vulpix was named Foxes. Little me didn't get the name goes with appearance thing. Oh, I see. Oh. It didn't one-shot! Stupid Kakuna, defense too high. And everyone seems really nice and happy there. That is always a good sign, right? That is always a good sign when you walk in and, like, the vibe is really positive. Um, because then you know they probably don't have too much BS going on behind the scenes. At least, or at least, the BS that they have is, like, tolerable. It's not, like, you know, it's not, like, a, a problem. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so this is when I feel it's supposed to be in what I'm not great on like drawing blood they don't do so I feel like I'll be a superstar oh that's awesome I'm so glad I'm so glad for you Lunar no gust and um and hopefully you know this particular variant of uh, of COVID Omicron like behaves it seems like super differently than the other variants we've had before so I don't know maybe we're at a turning point with this crisis and and that should also help somewhat I hope in um you know how things go in your field all right so we are going to go ahead and hop down here and fight this guy and there's a hidden item or on berry right there in that weird little where the grass looks weird on that tile oh Bag. so here's how much I love Pokemon you guys um <laughs> because I can't like because I'm playing this on stream, um, I can only play so much, right? And then I kind of have to stop because it's like, oh, I have to save the next part for stream, right? Like, I leveled up all my Pokemons, and then I was like, oh, I have to stop because I've got to fight Brock next on stream. And so then I was, like, really missing playing it, and so I kind of also got Soul Silver. 
and started playing that. <laughs> so I've been playing Soul Silver, and that's why I keep pushing the wrong key for, um, for opening up the menu because that game is on the uh, DS, so it has a totally different system for how you do the menu stuff. So that's why I keep pushing the wrong button because I've been playing a bunch of Soul Silver. And the reason I chose that is because the um, Johto games are actually the games that I least like. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not really super into them. I'm not super into the Johto games for several reasons. And um, so I'm like, well, I should play this one again because it's been forever. It's one of the ones, the, the regions that I like really just have only played through once, like when it first came out and I really haven't touched it again. So I was like, it's the least familiar. So it'll be, you know, it'll be fun. So that's what I've been doing and why I keep pushing the wrong freaking buttons. Thank you so much for the lurk, Kendra. We love our lurkers here. We love our lurkers. All right, no worries. I'll see you again soon, Lunar. Go, Moose. All right, let's Hyper Fang. We do love our Kendras. It's true. It's true. She does the best names. <laughs> and I deserve all the crappy names that she gives me. I really do. We don't have an exclamation, Kendra Jane, remember? We have to get her to choose one. Nidoran. Nidoran's so cute. Nidoran's so cute. Yeah, peer pressure her. Well, she's lurking right now, so she's not paying attention. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna help. You'll have to, like, ping her on Discord or something and tell her that you, we need an exclamation Kendra. Okay, that guy's another bug catcher. So we're gonna put Moisty in front. There we go. She'll feel it in the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope she doesn't have to go shovel out another car. And that's what happened last time. She had to she had to go outside and shovel out her car, which took like over an hour. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with snow where I live. I think I would die. Nope, I'll keep with Moisty. Super effective. Your harden is useless against me. I have gust. Take my blowing, you hardened metapod. Yay! Level up! Done like dinner. That's a last. Ah, wrong freaking stupid button. Oh, let's switch back to Moose. Yeah, so I'm not going to walk in the grass there because I have a higher chance to catch Jigglypuff in the next patch of grass. And she's going to fight me with a Jigglypuff. <laughs> I'm not used to typing 2022 yet either, Kaneko. Um, it feels weird, but it's true. I don't know, 2022 just feels like, to me it's like such a, the future is here year. I just can't, I can't handle it. I don't know, I haven't felt like this since like the year 2001. But 2022 feels like a science fiction year, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, stop pushing the wrong button. Okay, we gotta give a potion to Rattata. Oh, he's not a trainer. Her. So we actually didn't need to give the potion to Rattata. <laughs> oh well. Oh, let's actually read what he has to say. Uh, phew. I better take a rest. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. I don't know how you backtracked through the tunnel, considering at the end there's like a ledge that you can't climb up, but okay. Oh well, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock's so cool. He's not just tough. People like him and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Someday you can. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Geodude. 
Yeah, that's that's a bummer. To be fair, I didn't automatically get 2021 right until June. It's always hard when a new year pops up. I have trouble with that too. Okay, set six Pokeballs in my belt. Yeah, that'll do it. At most, you can have six Pokemon with you. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Not a day goes by without a Team Rocket incident in the news. Sometimes you'll have too many Pokemon with you to add any more. In that case, you should just store some using the PC. Hello there, sweetie pie. Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, for just 500 Poke Dollars. So you'll buy it, am I right? I'm gonna buy it, personally, um, but uh, you can catch one with an old rod, which you'll get relatively uh, soon in the game, not too much longer, but I want to buy it because I want to have a Gyarados faster. Yes, we do want to give a nickname to the Magikarp, so let me actually... I need to open up my list. Which I should have already had open, but I didn't. So, bear with me a moment. While I go out to Twitch and actually look. At what names you guys put in? There we go. Okay, so we have got... Junior Teeth Fuzz, um, Politician Badger, Holly Champ, uh, Mr. Jane, Taylor, oh, and that's a Hydrate, which we already did. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna name him Politician, because he starts out useless and then all of a sudden gets insane, which is what politicians do. Politi Think politician? Did I spell that right? P O L I T I C I A N. Yes, it looks like I spelled it right. Or at least if I spelled it wrong, so did Kendra. So. <laughs> do they, though? Or do they have Everstones? <laughs> well, I guess it depends. Being useful to who, right? Being useful to who? All right, so here we go. Politician, the Magikarp. We definitely want to get him some levels, so we're going to move him up like that. Let's heal everybody. Yes, please heal my mons. No problem. Happy to wait for free health care. All right, let's go down and catch a Pokemon down here. So I'm hoping for Jigglypuff, but um, it might also be uh, a Spearow, or I think you can actually get Nidorans in here. Is Moose in the lineup twice? No, he's not. Oh, did the um, plug-in thing that shows my team screw up? Oh, we can't get Mankey. We can't get Mankey. Let's run. Oh no! This isn't good. He's gonna kill him. <gasps> uh, let's switch to somebody stronger so we can run away. Uh, species Claws means we're not gonna catch Mankey. Let's actually, I shouldn't have put politician out there quite yet. Do this catch first. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna fight any trainers. We're gonna catch this Pokemon. Spiro. okay. So not a Jigglypuff, unfortunately, but we don't have a Spiro, so we are gonna catch him. So let's put him to sleep. Good night, Spiro. Good night. Burb! Yes, he is a burb. So we'll have two birds. So if something happens to Moisty, we can... We have a backup. Mm, I don't have tackle on him anymore. 
Let's switch to Moisty. I'm scared of killing him, he's so low level. But let's let's do a tackle. Whoa! That almost killed him. I almost lost out on a Pokemon for this route. Holy shnikes. Um, well, you're gonna have to be caught now. <laughs> Oh yeah. Caught the Spearow. That was almost a big problem. Yes, let's give Spearow a nickname. Okay, so we've got Junior, Teeth Fuds, I don't know how I'm gonna ever pick that one. Badger, Holly, Champ, um, Taylor. We're gonna call we're gonna call him Champ because he just barely survived. He just barely survived that tackle. So that's gonna be his name. Champ. Okay. Champ the Spearow. Alright, so we can get out of that patch of grass. Let's go in here and heal everybody up. Yes, I would. And we're gonna box Spearow because we have a Pidgey, so there's really just no reason to use him at the moment. <clears throat> so let's put him in the box. You put Junior in already. I have that one in the queue. Yeah, let's deposit. All right, champ. Go hang out in the box. Here, I'll refund you for that one. Let's see. Where's the new Junior? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Junior is the first one on the list that I have. It is, it is in there. Okay, so let's make sure of how many Pokeballs I have. I should have plenty. Yeah, I have six more. Okay, and then we're gonna have Bulbasaur first. Okay, this is all good. All right, let's see who we're gonna catch in Mount Moon. It's probably gonna be a Zubat. I feel like you always catch a Zubat here. It's never anything else. Oh my God, it's a Geodude. There's so many Zubats in here. I cannot believe I got a Geodude. I'm like really shocked right now. I'm like, I, what? What? Okay, well, let's put you to sleep. Oh, good job. Don't miss, Landon, don't miss. There we go. I can't believe we got a Geodude. That's so good. Okay, um, let's see, hopefully get caught. Yes, yes, she's going to be a strong lady, strong like Louisa. Oh yeah. <laughs> it did, it heard me taunting it. It heard me taunting it, and um, it was like, you know, you think you're gonna get a Zubat, but just kidding, you're not. Okay, so, let's see. I want a nice, beautiful name for our strong girl. Um, Lunar's only submitted one name, and we didn't get Jigglypuff, which is, I would have used Taylor for Jigglypuff, so I think we're gonna name, we're gonna name our Geodude Taylor, because she's a, a strong, independent woman who doesn't take shit from nobody. Taylor. Taylor the Geodude. Okay, so now let's switch my party around. I definitely need to train a politician. Okay, that looks good. Probably just gonna let Geodude chill in the party um, and not try to level her up right now and I'll get her up to level off stream. She's not a Geo dude, she's a Geo lady. That's right, she's a strong Geo Geo lady. <clears throat> That's right. Alright, very happy with that, very happy with that. 
I really did not expect to get a Geodude. Alright, so there's... You run into a lot of Pokemon in here because it's not grass or anything, but like the whole floor <laughs> kind of is. Um, yeah, there we go. Jane, please see she felt it. <laughs> well, you were right, she did. All right, so there's Bullet Seed. And there's another item up there that we can get. I've never heard Karen so elated when she caught a Geotude. There, you don't understand, you don't understand, like the catch rate for, um, the encounter rate for Zubats in here is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I just was really convinced I was gonna get a Zubat, you know? I'm trying to be good and do replies, it isn't working. You can do it, Kendra, go do your replies. What kind of RP is it that you're in? Oh, we need to switch, we're doing switch training, that's right. Come on, Moisty, wreck this bug catcher. Oh no, poisoned. They finally fix it in Gen 4 so that poison, even though it does still happen outside of battle, it doesn't totally kill your Pokemon, it just gets them down to like 1 HP. But not in this game. In this game, I absolutely have to cure poison <laughs> after the battle because um, if I don't, Moisty will die. I'm doing a recon retupper and I can confirm that I hate it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't get into tupper either. I really can't. Yeah, but we can't let Moisty die, so we will cure the poison after this battle. Luckily, he doesn't take much damage from it, or she doesn't take much damage from it, so um, we're going to be fine during this battle. We're going to kill the Kakuna before it's a problem. Yay! Politician leveled up! These folks change channels in the middle of threads? What do you- like if your characters move to a different location, like, and you write that out, then they will, like, actually move to a different location in the server? Is that what you mean? Oh, he really likes me. She really likes me. Because I named it Moisty, I keep calling it a he, but that Pidgey is a she. I just wasn't paying attention when I named it. All right, so there's a paralyzed heal right there. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna fight some more. Trying to plot with them is rough, I've been spoiled. Sorry for spoiling you all these years, Kendra. <laughs> uh. I really can't believe I caught a Geo, dude. I'm still like, my mind is freaking blown that that's what happened. Stop trying to fight with the Magikarp. You cannot do that right now. It's not going to work. All right, come here, Rattata. Karen Jr. <laughs> but my trainer's name is Karen, so it'll like literally be Karen Jr. That'll be so weird. I should have brought some Awakens. We're still really close to the entrance though, so it's not a big deal. And he woke up, thank god. That's why it's because your trainer name is Karen. Oh no! Moose, no! She's not... <laughs> she's not worth it! She's not worth it, Moose! Don't! <sighs> Don't! She doesn't love you like I love you. She'll never love you back! Moose! Moose, please! Please just... No! Oh my god. This is so annoying, because the Clefairy I don't think even has any moves that are going to be a problem. So it's just like literally... <laughs> like, see the double slap really... 
Oh shoot, that's a crit. That's not good. Um, alright, well, Pokemon's homophobic, so we're gonna switch over to Moisty and hope that Clefairy doesn't use Double Slap. Okay, sweet. And let's quick attack. So you can get out. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, don't kill Moisty. Don't kill Moisty. Don't kill him. No more crits. Oh, thank god, no more crits. Quick attack. Die, Clefairy. Well, the double slap doesn't do anything unless it freaking crits. I keep forgetting, like, that the Pokemon really die when they die, so, like, crits are a really big problem. <clears throat> Alright, let's heal everybody. Yes, heal them. I did jinx it, I did jinx it. It critted twice with that freaking double slap. On both? On two different mons. That should be illegal. It's just really not worth it to fight these guys. Dang it, I was almost at the ladder. <laughs> I was almost at the ladder. Yeah, run away. They're gonna go down the ladder. And um, if you come back here later in the game, there's a bunch of hidden, like, uh, mushroom items. But um, I never seem to find them on the first run through Mount Moon. I'm pretty sure they don't spawn until later. I think that's how that works. Because I never, like, I press A in the, around these rocks and stuff where they're supposed to be, and I just never find them. So I'm pretty sure it's like, they spawn later. Alright, so this rocket... I'm trying to remember what he has. Oh, it doesn't matter because I've got my Magikarp first to switch train him, so it's okay. We're Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. You're ready to be decimated, Mr. Rocket. Politician, that's enough. Come back. Go, Landon! Fine Whip should destroy it. Yep, super effective. <clears throat> Rattata. Um, yes. Let's put out my Rattata against your Rattata. I can outspeed you. Because I think even though his Rattata is a bit lower level than my guys, he would, uh... No, we can keep Rattata in. Um, he would outspeed. If he chose, especially if he chose Quick Attack. Crit! Good job, Moose. You're doing really good this run, Moose. Bat, 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 bite. <laughs> Zubat can learn bite, so he can totally do that. Alright. I beat you up. I'm a kid, but I beat you up. Star piece. I'm looking at my notes, because I think there's a secret item down here. Um... No, it's just the star piece. Okay. Okay be my vampire. <laughs> uh, yeah, vampire name would be a good nickname for a Zubat, for sure. Call him Lestat. Alright, so that's all that's down here, so we're gonna go back up, back to where we were a minute ago. Alright, and then there's some more trainers down here. Need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Yes, I know. Caterpie! Go, politician! Okay. 
Let's switch out to our Bug Killer Moisty. Moisty's great because he takes care of all the roaches and spiders in the house. We don't have to worry about it. It's fantastic. He's the best bug killer ever. Don't need no Terminex with Moisty around. Yes, we can safely do that. Put Politician back in, and then we'll switch back to Moisty again so Politician can get even more experience. Because <clears throat> he is totally useless, <laughs> unfortunately, for like the longest time. It takes forever to get him up to Gyarados. I think it's like level 20, and then he can do some stuff. Kendra, have you ever played Pokemon? I can't remember. I can't remember if you're like a, a Pokemon person or not. Metapod. Doesn't Carp get Tackle, or is that not until Gen 3? If he does, it's not until, like, right before he uh, evolves. I think it's a while before he gets Tackle. And even when he gets Tackle, Magikarp's attack is so weak, like, it doesn't do jack. So I want to say that, yes, he does get Tackle, but it's not it's still not for a while and even once he gets it it's pretty useless. Bolopedia to the rescue. Yes, Bolopedia always to the rescue. Thank you, Koneko. So yeah, you might be right. But even if he does, his stats would be too low for it to do anything. Don't sneak up on me. Okay, super nerd, I'll try. Alright, so these guys are electric and steel, so I definitely don't want to use Moisty. I think we're gonna use... Let's see. Moose or Landon? Let's use Moose. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Derp Sna. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Um, we're doing a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke run right now, and typically on Thursdays we do stuff like this. I, I like to play a lot of role-playing games, simulation games, things like that. Um, I also stream on Saturdays, which the Saturday is more of a um, podcast type of stream. Um, this coming up Saturday, we're going to be talking about the fourth Harry Potter book, uh, doing a reread of that. Venusaur on Nuzlocke, bold move, I know, right? This is my first ever Nuzlocke, so I'm trying to play it safe. No, it's fine. I'll just get it with Moose. I've played a lot of Pokemon, but never Nuzlocke, never competitively, so my knowledge of it is very, um, you know, long over time, but not very, uh, not very deep. Uh, breadth, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I have a, a lot of breadth of Pokemon knowledge, not a lot of depth of Pokemon knowledge. <laughs> Finally back, what did I miss? You haven't missed anything, Lunar, we've just been fighting trainers, um, nothing crazy has happened, so you haven't missed anything ridiculous. Don't worry. Level 15 is when they get Tackle and Fire Red Leaf Green according to Bulletpedia. Well, that makes sense. Well, so he'll get Tackle, and then five levels later he'll get, he'll turn into Gyarados. But I'm pretty sure, like, for those, even though for those five levels from 15 to 20, like, I just don't, I don't think his attack's going to be high enough for Tackle to do anything. So I think probably I'll still end up switch training him until he gets to 20. That's what I think anyway. Escape Rope. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's the trainers there. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of Pewter Gem lends me a hand. Oh, that's nice of him. I like that they have somebody in here that's not really a trainer, that really is like, you know, using the mountain for other purposes. I think that's a nice touch, a nice little roleplay touch. Should 
should have brought repels. Too many random encounters in here. Now the next ladder is somewhere up here. We can fight this girl. Stop running for a second. I want to battle you. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Yeah, it probably seems that way when you just run around in a circle. I usually recommend Charmander if no level cap and Squirtle, Squirtle if level cap. We're doing a soft level cap. I mean, I'm not gonna over level, super over level my Pokemon, but I'm not like holding myself to it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> But I just figured, you know, Bulbasaur, I know, does really good against the first and second gym. And I feel like he was originally intended as kind of the Pokemon to choose for easy mode. As like the, you know, because it's kind of, the way the first Pokemon game works, the, um, and the way it's balanced, the starters kind of give you a, a tier list of difficulty. You know, Bulbasaur is the easiest, and then Squirtle is next, and then Charmander is like, hard mode. No, Pidgey, you can eat the bell sprout too. It's okay. Get him, Moisty. That's right, girl. You lost. Alright, where's the next little ladder thing? It's around here somewhere. There we go. Alright, same deal. We've got a rocket here we're gonna fight. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. I don't know what that voice was. So yeah, I'm kind of sort of doing a level cap. But I feel like if you choose, um, if you choose Charmander, if you choose Charmander, then it, well, I guess if you're not doing a level cap, then it's fine. Because I was just thinking, like, if you choose Charmander, then you pretty much need to make sure you get a Mankey. Yeah, I would agree with that. Bulbasaur is easier for the early game, Squirtle is more consistent, and the Charmander is mid to end game. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Um, I shouldn't have put Bulbasaur in. Let's see. Who would be good for killing... I guess I should have put Moose in. Go, Moose. Yep, yep, yep. I was thinking, like, Poison type, I'll put Bulbasaur in because he's not going to get poison, but no, with Zubat's moves and stuff, stats and stuff, I should have chosen Moose. <clears throat> nope. Moose can stay in. Yeah, Mankey slash Metal Claw. Oh yeah, that's true, because the Le Fire Red Leaf Green is Den 3, so you're gonna have Metal Claw if you level up enough. Duh. That makes sense. So Charmander, yeah, so I guess when you're talking about Fire Red Leaf Green, Charmander's not so hard anymore. So there's a hidden ether right there. I think there's another, yeah, there's an item up here. So then you get Thief. All right, let's run back. <clears throat> Did you come to explore the cave too? But also, this is my very first run through with um, with Bulbasaur. You get it at 15, so you're breaking the cap by one level. That makes sense, yeah. So you're not breaking it too hard, just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Let's see. Let's put in my moose. Hyper Fang. Yeah, this is also the very first run of this game I've done with Bulbasaur, although I've played this game a whole bunch of times. Um, I actually never really choose the grass starters, like, ever. 
I pretty much choose the fire starters and then sometimes I'll choose the water starters, but um, but I figured like, you know, let's do something different this time. Also, that was like the other thought I had on it. No. Your team's looking good too. Thank you so much. I've got, um, I killed my Mankey, unfortunately. Um, I have got a, we just caught a Spiro, so he's sitting in the box. Um, and then I need to level up this Geodude that I got in here. I was surprised. I thought for sure I was going to get a Zubat. But no, I got a Geodude. I was really excited. Because I was like, oh my god. There's like no way. Like, it's going to be a Zubat. It's always a Zubat in here. But, uh, but no. I was pleasantly surprised. Would have liked a Nitto Ran Mankey. Yeah, so, um, the spot... We got a Spiro in that spot instead of a Nidoran. I was hoping for a Jigglypuff and the Nidoran next, and then Spiro next, but we got we got Spiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was happy for that. I thought for sure I was going to end up with a Zubat, but no. All right, let's give a potion to Moose. There we go. Can't let him get too low. Do you favor Pidgey or Spiro? I'm more of a Pidgey person. Um, I just think he looks cooler, and I always pick uh, my favorite Pokemon based on their designs, not their utility. <laughs> I am definitely that kind of uh, Pokemon person, so I tend to favor uh, Pidgey, the Pidgey line, to the Spiro line. Kendra Discord won't let me, so I'm communicating to you through Karen. <laughs> She's my medium. <laughs> okay, Jane, I'll be your medium. Moisty Moose Taylor. We haven't named someone Taylor yet. I was hoping uh, if we got in a Jigglypuff, I would have named it named it Taylor. Oh yeah, no, we named Geodude Taylor. That's right. Oh, I forgot that item. I need that. Ha ha. That's a Moonstone, I think. Yeah, a Moonstone. I want you in case I get a Nidoran later. Oh, all of these, I said this for the first one, by the way, but this is true of this little um, area and the other one that we walked through. Um, there's hidden mushrooms on the ground, but um, I never see them when you run through the first time. I'm pretty sure, like, if you come back later, that's when the mushrooms are there, because I, on the first run through, I just, I never see them, you know? Let's see. I don't think there's anything up there. I think we just have to go to the right. Yeah, the Geodude's named Taylor because she is a strong, independent woman. She don't let anyone tell her what to do or boss her around or nothing. Spear is really good because you learn to drill fact. That's true. Um, little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. Pinky? <laughs> if we have a pinky, we have to have a brain, Jane. Brain, Jane. Discord's being weird. Well, it better fix itself by the time the stream is over. Yes, I will send out Landon for that sand true. Karen planning on blessing us with more Disney hot takes in the GM. Um, I don't know if I have another good Disney hot take. I mean, literally, like, I did, took the highlight from the last stream of the um, Encanto hot take, and it was, like, 12 minutes. Like, it's 12 minutes that I go on and on and on <laughs> with my silly Encanto theory. I mean, I'm, like, ridiculous, you know? I can't. <laughs> Eloquently? Oh, thank you. I have to remind myself that it's really very silly to um, take Disney movies seriously for two reasons. One, they're made for kids. For two, Disney is a massive corporation that really doesn't care about story, they care about making money, so... 
have to remind myself of these things when I'm like talking about how certain things annoy me, but it's still true. It's still true those things annoy me. It's not my fault that literally all entertainment is run by these massive corporations nowadays. <clears throat> Well, Jane, why don't you like Clefairy? What's wrong with Clefairy? Clefairy's a phony. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Does it catch kids coming out of the rye? Is that why? Is Clefairy holding Caulfield? Very freaky. Jane, I'm just, I am not tracking with this. I don't understand. <laughs> oh god, that hurt. If he misses with the Hyper Fang, I don't know. I'm not comfy with this. But this really is my best option. We're gonna switch over to Moisty. That's good. Use the tail whip. There we go. Okay. I got a little nervous for Moose there. Um, no, it's fine. We'll quick attack. It's more likely a man dressed in a homemade cosplay of what he thinks a Pokemon would look like, but he's never actually seen one. Jane, Clefairy is OG Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, what are you talking about? Girl, you are crazy. Jane, I just can't, I can't abide. This is like, this is like the most insane Pokemon hot take. I just can't. I can't with you right now. I feel like we're disagreeing a lot lately. Disagreeing about Frozen, disagreeing about Clefairy. It's like, there's just so much going on. I'm gonna give um, Moose another potion because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use him for the guy coming up. Okay, there we go. Frozen is good, Clefairy is not. Like, the opposite is true. I don't know what to tell you, like, <laughs> you're just wrong. Your opinion is wrong. <laughs> I'm so upset I can't spell. <laughs> Kendra, <laughs> oh my gosh. I found these fossils, they're both mine. <laughs> yeah, because it's not good, thank you. Derps, we can be friends. I don't know you, but we're friends now. Like, you sealed it. Um, Frozen's not good. I'm beat up Frozen like I'm about to beat up this super nerd. Just you wait until Cl Club Fairy reveals himself in a costume. <laughs> oh, thank you for missing, Grimer. That was nice of you. Is it- is this kind of like how you don't like, um, the races in- in ESO that have tails and things like that? Is it kind of like you don't like Pokémon that look like people? Is it kind of like- is it along those lines? Like, you don't like people that look like animals, you don't like Pokémon that look like people? It's the same feeling, actually. I understand. Okay. I get it. I don't agree. I mean, I don't agree either way. Cat people are cool, sorry. Not sorry. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I get it. If I had a Butterfree here, it would destroy everything with its Psychic, but I didn't catch one. I didn't catch one. I was really sad about not catching a Caterpie. It didn't happen. Because Butterfree would absolutely wreck coughing. <clears throat> I 
the ultimate Pokemon hot take Pikachu is not all that cute. You are right. You are right, Koneko. You are right, and you should say it. You should say that. You should say that. You haven't had 400 Argonians emote at you about their scales being erect with a sign of greeting. Well, I mean, Jane, isn't that how you greet people? By being erect? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Like, hello. We'll each take a fossil, no being greedy. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. Before you before you go, though, we have a poll. If you're still here, wait for me to set up the poll. Okay. Um, poll. Which fossil should I take? Helix or dome? Okay, we're gonna do a one minute poll really quick. Really quick, guys. Which fossil should I take? Should I take Helix or should I take Dome? Choose Lord Helix. Oh, that's a good choice, Koneko. Make sure you vote for that one. Eevee's the best Pokemon. Well, that is true. Uh oh, we're neck and necks. Helix and Dome are tied. We need a tiebreaker, y'all. We need a tiebreaker. Is there anyone else? I don't I don't know if there I think there's four of you paying attention right now. I think everybody else is like lurking or a bot or something. <laughs> it's in the stream right now. Oh! Helix is ahead. Okay. Okay, it's probably gonna be Helix then. Eevee is the best Pokemon, you're right, Lunar. I can't wait to get Eevee. Alright, it's gonna be Helix unless someone sneaks in there last minute and ties it up with Dome. You did that, Chain? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. Helix Fossil, that's what we're gonna go with. Um, yes, I want the Helix Fossil. Fantastic. So you can have the dome, you weird nerd. Thanks for the antidote. And we're out. We made it out of Mount Moon, guys. We made it. Um, these are some move tutor guys up here. They teach you two different fighting moves. I don't really care about that right now. I'm not worried about it. Um, there's also down here a hidden item, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, on this weird grass. A raspberry! And then up here, we've got Roar. I think we can't, yeah, we can't get up to that girl. Well, once we jump down this ledge, then we can't go back, you guys. We can't go back. So let's jump. All right. Woo! Let's heal everybody up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon? Yes, I would. I don't like having pets, but I would have an Umbreon as a pet, 100%. Well, I love pets. I love, we have lots of animals at our house, but I agree with Umbreon as a pet. I think they would make a good one. <laughs> All right, so, oh shoot, I keep pressing the wrong friggin' button. Okay, let's put Landon out front. Our politician got up to level nine. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. All right, yes, encounter time. Let's go catch the one for here. Um, I think with the Pokemon that are here, that it's gonna have to be a Sandshrew. Because I think it's Sandshrew or Spearow, and we caught a Spearow, so I think that's a Sandshrew. We're getting a Sandshrew. Yeah, because so it's not gonna be a Spearow, because we already caught one. Yeah. Sandshrew um, is not too bad. It can be useful. It has a super, super shallow move pool, though, unfortunately, I feel like. Like, he just doesn't- he just doesn't get a lot of moves. You know? Yeah, go away, Burb. We're looking for Sandshrews. <laughs> yeah, Ekans is good. Here we go. Here's our Sandshrew. Okay. 
Go, Landon. All right, put her to sleep. Have a nap, lady. Wild Sand True fell asleep. Okay, now let's try to catch it. Okay. Sandtrue's data was added to the Pokedex. Yes. And yes, I do. Okay, let's go look at our names. Um, I think we're gonna choose, we're gonna choose Junior for her. Yeah, let's choose Junior for her. Because Koneko put that in last stream, so I feel like we definitely need to use it this stream. And I don't know if we'll make it to the next encounter before the end of stream time or not. J-U-N-I-O-R. Is that how you spell it? Yes, that's how you spell it. Okay. Junior! All right, in the box you go. All right, let's go explore Cerulean City a little bit. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. It is amusing. I have fun with it. I write really crazy stuff that I think the Pokemon can do in there, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, the Stone Group YT. Welcome into the stream. Um, this is my Thursday stream where we typically play different games. I play a lot of RPG and simulation games on Thursdays, and then I also stream on Saturdays. And on Saturdays, it's more of a um, podcast type of thing. Uh, so this coming up Saturday, the stream is going to be about the fourth Harry Potter book. Me and my friend Landon are doing a reread of them. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. A plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. We've got just the bike for you. For one million dollars. <laughs> no thanks. It's not even possible for me to get that much money. My wallet limits me. Sorry, sir. Get the rare candy. Don't worry, I'll get the rare candy. We're gonna talk to everybody too, though. Slowbro punch. No, you blew it again. Repel not only keeps bugs away, it also works on weak Pokemon. Put your strongest Pokemon on the left of the Pokemon list. If your first Pokemon strong, Repel Repel's effects are boosted. Do you know about rare candy? They don't sell it in shops. I think it makes Pokemon grow very quickly all of a sudden. We definitely want that because we're going to use that on... Uh, our magic card. Hi there, how may I help you? Bye. Let's get some stuff. Oh no, I think I want to wait. No, they do have super potions. Let's get a couple super potions, guys. Yes. Thank y'all. And how many Pokeballs do I have? I have four. I can just get one more, that's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Sigh. Too much time, too little to do. Is nothing entertaining happening anywhere? Why are you- why? You're watching TV. There's a Pokemon on TV. It looks like it's having fun. Dude, just watch the fun Pokemon. Cheat goes be like I would disagree. Well, we're not cheating. Um, if that Slowbro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. That way, you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. My husband likes trading Pokemon. You're collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex, aren't you? Would you please trade with him? Well, let's find out what he wants. Let's see. Hello there. Do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade it for a Jinx? I don't have a Poliwhirl, so can't help you, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see myself doing any of the in-game trades, really. Those are Jim. You're a trainer, too? Collecting, battling. It's a tough life, isn't it? So tough. So tough, I kill my friends. Oh, 
only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges are amazing secrets. Did you know? Now then, which one of your eight badges should I describe? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for following, um, Rosa Poe. Welcome into the stream, welcome into the stream. So this guy will tell you what every single one of the badges in the game does. So like, I mean, I know Brock told us about the boulder badge, but it'll tell you here. The attack stat of all your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you lose, use the move Flash outside of battle. Now then, which of the eight badges? And it'll just go through so we can look, look at all of them. This is the next one we're gonna get. Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. And then um, let's use Cut outside of battle. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And this is basically the order they expect you to get the badges in, that you don't really have to. I mean, you kind of have to get the first three in a row, but then it sort of opens up. So for Thunder Badge, the speed set of your Pokemon increases, and you can use Fly outside of battle. For Rainbow, up to level 50 Pokemon will obey you. And then, yeah, 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 he says all that. And then you can use Strength outside of battle. For Soul Badge, the defense stat increases, and you can use Surf outside of battle. For Marsh Badge, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. And lets you use Rock Smash outside of battle. Volcano Badge, is special attack and special defense races, and it will let you use Waterfall outside of battle. And then Earth Badge, last but not least, all Pokemon will obey you. So as we get the different badges, all that stuff will happen. She's a great wife. What did I miss? I like that this wife is like, you know, my husband's hobby is important to him and I want you to go talk to him, he's lonely. That's true, that's what happens. So there's a hidden rare candy right there. We definitely want that. We're gonna use that to help um, politician level up. If my future wife doesn't do that, I don't want her. That's a great attitude, Dirks, that's exactly right. I concoct a variety of medicines from berry powder Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, do you have any interest in berries? Sure. Ah, oh, good. For you then, I have just the thing. So you can get the powder jar from this guy, but I'm pretty sure, like, because the way you mix powders is with the online stuff. Yeah, you have to use the direct corner, which we're not going to have access to, obviously. Um, I have a favor to ask, one that I can entrust only to you. Could you make berry powder for me using the machine? Don't forget, the machine is at the direct corners of the Pokemon Center. I'll concoct medicine for you if you bring me some berry powder. Don't forget, crush berries into berry powder and bring it to me. So we can't do that, unfortunately, unless I like hack into it and do it that way. But I can't legitimately make berry powders. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for following Cosmic Crusaders. Um, even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many followers streaming Pokemon. I can't remember the last time that uh, um, that I was in towards the beginning of a game like this and got a bunch of followers. Thank you all so much for coming in here. Um, this is kind of the main thing that we're doing during our Thursday streams for the next while. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. That's good for Bill. That Bill. I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. I stream with my pupper. <gasps> I've got my pupper right here. She's right here next to me. She's laying on the floor, so he can't see her. <laughs> Why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokemons with your friends? You can get a lot more variety by training. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly, too. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't have any friends. Except for you guys. You guys are my friends. Well, have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Exactly. Hi! Welcome, Cosmic Crusaders. Welcome, welcome. There's so many. There's so many new people. I'm like a little overwhelmed. Like, what do I do? What do I say? <laughs> All right. So we've still got plenty of time, I think. Let me see what the levels of our Pokemon are. I'm a little nervous. I had expected... I expected it to take a little longer getting through Mountain Moon, to be honest. So... I'm just a little unsure about what I want to do next. Let me reorganize my mons. Okay, let's definitely save. Okay, I'm just gonna check something real quick. I know what's coming next. But I just want to double check something to see if I should go ahead and do this next fight. I'm thinking I should. I think I should be fine.
Pidgey always first. <laughs> uh, let's see. He has four Pokemon right now. He has four Pokemon. Talking about my rival, by the way. Do I want to go ahead and fight Booty? It's really risky. Because I think his, because his ace will be level 19 right now. So I really feel like I should level up more. And I shouldn't go fight him just yet. Mm. He does always send Pidgey first. But his ace is going to be higher than every single one of my Pokemon. And his ace is the... Um, will be... Charmeleon. I think I need to level up more. I know I didn't want to, like, do too much grinding on stream, but it has to be done sometimes. So we're going to do a little, we're going to do a little bit of leveling up. I just don't feel confident. I just don't feel confident, you guys. Except if you're a Tata Outsped him to get off a Hyper Fang. Yeah, but Hyper Fang's not a guaranteed move, so I feel like it's really risky. Yes, I could probably, like, I probably could do that, like Hyper Fang over and over and get all of his guys down that way, but I just don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's uh, it's not a 100% move, so it makes me nervous. <clears throat> but we need to get Politician leveled up anyway, so we'll do a little bit of grinding for the end of our stream here. And then I will level everybody up a little bit off stream so that we're ready for him next time. If I learned anything from watching a bunch of other um, people do Nuzlocks, it is really all about um, making sure you spend time leveling and that you have the right move set up and all of that good stuff and you have good good speed stats, so you're always outspeeding. Because I'm obsessed with any type of Pokemon named after my Wolfie hybrid, Haley. Okay, we can find something that can be named Haley. No problem, Lunar. We feel like we've got a lot of really good Pokemon names in the queue right now. Let's see. And we've got, next stream we'll definitely have like two, probably three, maybe like three or four encounters that we that we get. We'll definitely have two encounters that we do for sure. Because we'll have, because there's two routes that we're going to next, and then we'll do the Cerulean badge, and then we'll go south, and I think there's like then two more routes there before we get to the next town. So, yeah, see, missing hyper fangs. Missing hyper fangs. No bueno. And we'll probably get a Meowth coming up. Um, there's not a lot of good, like, dog-ish Pokemon in this particular one, but, um, yeah. Abra's free, yep, you're right. Rattata can't do much, Pidgey can't do... Can do a little damage, Charmander's the real problem, maybe level up Geodude, yeah. Geodude definitely needs to level up, for sure. Wait, who am I fighting? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I've got a Spearow. Growlithe, maybe. Growlithe is not in Leaf Green, Growlithe is exclusive to Fire Red. We get Vulpix in this one. And he's kind of fox-like. I don't know how you feel about that. Okay, politician's level 10. Let's start leveling up Taylor a little bit. And Vulpix again sucks. But it's so cute! <laughs> Vulpix is one of the cutest ones. I love Alolan Vulpix with the ice typing. It's so cute, so beautiful. I love it so much. Vulpix would work too? Okay. Maybe we'll save that name for, um, for a Vulpix. We should get one, I think, since I'm using Species Claws. I think it should work out to get one. Oh my gosh. Stop pressing that button. And since the rival's ace is level 19, I'm not going to level up anyone past 19, I think. It'll be like, it's not like, usually you level cap at whatever the um, gym leaders are, but I really think I'm going to have no problem with Misty since I have Ivysaur. So, 
That's that about that. There's no shot you have a text-based RP video. I run so many um, play-by-posts in the mutants and mastermind system. I feel like I'm gonna be here very often. Oh my god! That's what we that's how I started. That's how my content started. Because literally nobody was making um, video content to help text-based role players. Uh, the only one person that was really doing a lot of work to help text-based role players is um, Springhole, which um, is, which is a, a blogger that's been doing this for years and years and years. And I was just like, well, you know, blogging is kind of on 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 the outs, and and I always wanted to find like more opinions, but I feel like Springhole publishes all their opinions, and like really, there's nobody else in that space. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put my roleplay opinions out there. And so and so I did. Um, and this was all precipitated. So this is deep Karen lore right here. This was all precipitated from um, I lost my job. I got laid off, and you know you can't job hunt for. 40 hours a week like there's only so much that you can do right and um so i started a youtube channel <laughs> and i started making youtube videos <laughs> and um, i'm kind of to the point where i have put out all the opinions i really have on role play and uh and text-based role play so um oh no I, I have a job now this was like years ago but that's what started the channel um, I'm good now. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I made enough, you know, streaming and YouTube and stuff to not have a day job, but that's just not the reality. Um, this really is a hobby. It's for fun. So, so yeah, I started putting out that content and, um, and it really helped to give me something to do and something, you know, fun to have while I was job searching so I didn't get so crazy. If you watch my early videos though, like you can, you can so tell I'm like, I'm like deep depressed, upset in those early videos. It is uh, painfully obvious when I go back and watch them. I'm like, damn, I'm like so sad. I'm like super, super so sad. <laughs> it's like the, there's no light in my eyes and like dead. <clears throat> I'm so excited to watch the content of good. Not yet. Oh, did you just recently get laid off? I'm so sorry, Cosmic. Um, it was, it's not fun. It's not fun. I really feel for you. It's awful. <clears throat> But hey, the job market's crazy right now, so, um, so good luck. Oh, you've been out since 2019? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. The job market's really good right now, though. I feel like you can find a lot of things. Um, I mean, I don't know what area you're in, so I might be just talking on my ass and don't know what I'm talking about, but around here anyway, the job market is going insane. Um, you can find anything. You can find anything for any price, whatever you want. Um, any job, pretty much. Oh, Ontario? Oh, we have a friend in Ontario. Um, but I'm only a little bit familiar with kind of what goes on there, because I just have the one friend. That's how I found you, and then you hopped into my stream, and the rest was history. True, Lunar. <laughs> Never should have let me figure out you were a streamer and check out your content. And then we're friends forever. But now you have two. Yeah! Two Ontario friends. That's awesome. I love my Canadian friends. Y'all keep it real, um, helping me know that I'm a big baby when it comes to cold weather. <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't hang with, like, any amount of cold. Um, I'm a tropical creature, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Can't do it. No snow, no ice, no cold for me. Negative 20 C yesterday. Oh my god. I don't know Celsius, but negative anything sounds like ridiculously cold to me. My American ears. <clears throat> mm -mm. I think, I just think I'd die. Like, I just think, like, I think I would walk outside and I would just, like, bloop. I'm, like, pretty sure that's what would happen. Um, you know. Just no. I just don't, I just don't think I'd do it, you know? They meet at negative 40, I think. Oh, okay. So, like, negative 20 would still be... I mean, that'd still be pretty cold, but I guess that means it wouldn't be negative in the Fahrenheit. I'm not sure. I mean, it's still... It's below freezing for Celsius to be negative 20, right? So, it's way too cold. Hell, for me, below, um... 
below about 70 is too cold sometimes. <clears throat> That's fa uh, Fahrenheit. 70 Fahrenheit. Karen, I can't come paint if that shit's gonna be steaming. Well, Jane, you know it is, because it's gonna be in the summer. I mean, unless things, like, don't go... don't go right, the move's gonna be in the summer, so it's gonna be hot as hell. <clears throat> I hope they finish sooner rather than later. So, this house got AC? Well, of course it does! Like, yeah? <laughs> but, like, you know, <laughs> it's still gonna be summer outside. Like, come on. <laughs> But yes, I don't know, your dream might be sweltering. What do I know? <laughs> um, don't worry though, my husband likes to keep the house cold. I do not. I am not a fan of it being like ridiculously cold, but he is. I'll be by the pool if you need me. No problem, I'll probably be by the pool too. Honestly, that's where I'm gonna be, most likely. <clears throat> I'm telling you, 300 follower stream, pool party. It'd probably be around, happening around that time, so. We'll get a really, really long ethernet cables and we'll daisy chain them together with those little connectors, you know, like you can get. And um, that way we can wire into the ethernet. And uh, yeah, 300 follower stream party by the pool. We'll play Jackbox in the pool. It'll be fun. It'll be like next level hot tub streaming, right? Instead of a, a hot tub, it'll be like an actual big pool. And it'll be and it'll be all of us, right? Instead of just a singular streamer. 3K followers is meeting of the NPCs. Oh my Jane, I don't know if I'll ever reach that. On Twitch, um, I feel like follower count is much slower growth on Twitch than it is on YouTube. I don't know if I'll ever reach 3 3K on Twitch. I'm at two, two something, 2k something, something on YouTube. I don't know what I'm at right now. I don't really pay attention as much anymore. Let me actually look. Now I'm curious. But yeah, we're at two, 2,676 uh, subscribers on YouTube. What am I fighting? I'm fighting a Rattata. You will. <laughs> well, thank you, Lunar. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Alright, so his Vine Whip doesn't quite kill Rotata. It's interesting. Good to know. My laptop's dying. I'm gonna go, Koneko, I'm so surprised you've stayed for as long as you have, considering your time zone. Thank you so much. I always appreciate you coming hanging out on these Thursday streams. I know it's, like, really late for you. Um, but yeah, I will see you next week. I'll see you next week. Next week we'll be doing a rival fight. We'll be fighting Misty. It'll be a fun time. So I guess it is good that I taught sleep powder to my Bulbasaur since we did not end up getting a Caterpie and we did not end up getting a Jigglypuff. Although we might still get we might still get a Caterpie that we can level up to Butterfree and have a sleeper soon. In the next little area. That might happen. I have to go look, because since I'm playing Species Claws exactly how that's gonna go. I'm not sure. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, 2 a.m. Oh my god. I can't. If I'm up at 2 a.m., it's because like I woke up for something. And I couldn't get back to sleep. <laughs> With my old lady 9 p.m. sleep schedule. <sighs> I'll probably lurk Saturday. I always try to lurk, but horse riding over... Yeah, yeah. Saturday doesn't really work out for you. Um, so next time in the chat will probably be next week. Yes, yes. That all sounds good. Um, well, I hope you do have a good time riding on Saturday. And um, have a good night. Sleep well. All right, Vine Whip for Landon. 
I actually have to go lurk now, but I followed all the socials. Oh my god, thank you so much, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm so I'm so glad that a, a role player happened to stumble on one of my streams, even though this one in particular really doesn't have much to do with text-based role playing. Um, but that's so fun, you know. Role players are everywhere. Like we're everywhere, you know. Um, just silently lurking, silently lurking in all of the places. Yeah, role players unite. That's right, that's right. Mm, let's see. Is fighting good against flying or is flying good against fighting? Can't remember. <laughs> um, I'll tell you about my heroes sometime. Yes, next time, next week, um, come to the stream and tell me all about your heroes. I really do want to hear about them. Uh, let's see. I think we're just gonna run because I cannot remember. Flying better than fighting. Oh, thank you. Okay. So we can get it easily with Moisty. <laughs> I knew it was one way, but I just couldn't remember. There we go. So Pidgey can take out those mankeys. Thank you so much for the Lurk Cosmic. We love our Lurkers here. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Kendra, did you ever make it to doing your replies, by the way? If you're still here, did you do them? I know you were trying and failing. So I'm just gonna peer pressure you a little into doing your roleplay replies. I need to RP with y'all. Yeah, I need to, um... I need to figure out how to get back into doing... being in a text-based roleplay group. Um, just the way that things are right now, I, I can't keep up with, like, activity requirements that I feel like are necessary for groups to do the group thing, you know? So I've really been focusing on, like, um, Dungeons and & Dragons and other, like, tabletop games for my role-playing needs at the moment. And not so much text-based. Um, I still could do one-on-ones, I suppose, but... You know, you know, I'm a group bitch. I'm not a... I can do one-on-one -on -one RPs, and I have had some great experiences, but it's just not where my jam is, you know? It's not where my jam is. I like groups, so... I actually am not in a game right at the moment. I'm just in tabletop. No tech space. I can invite you to the RP site I'm on, there's no activity requirements. Yeah, but even though there's not activity, even if there's not activity, like, requirements, because it's a group of people, you still have to, like, keep up a certain level of activity, or you just can't, you can't cohese with the rest of the group, you know what I mean? Like, your character can't really get deeply involved in other storylines and plots, and, and you can't really, like, get people to do, do things with you to make your plots go how you want. It just, it doesn't work, you know? If you don't post a certain amount, it doesn't work. You end up becoming, your character becomes like a background character, which I'm, some people are obviously fine with that because they, they do it and I watch them do it and they seem to have fun, but I can't be a background character. <laughs> I can't be a background character. It's just not in my nature. Just kidding, just kidding, I understand. I appreciate it. I mean, at some point I might hit you up um, knowing that the invitation's out there. But uh, at the moment, I feel like it's not a good idea for me, you know? That's right. Nobody puts baby in the corner. And I am so like... <laughs> it's so funny that you said no one puts Karen in the background. My brain went like nobody puts baby in the corner, which I'm pretty sure that's what you intended. But like, um, my coworkers used to say that to me all the time at one of my <laughs> one of the jobs that I've had um, because I just couldn't do it like I couldn't be in the background you know I just uh, I have very um, look at me <laughs> energy <laughs> 
and uh, and it shows. Spira. We're going to do a few more battles, I think, and then we're going to go find somebody to raid. Because I just feel like... Who am I fighting? I'm fighting the Rattata. I just feel like entertainment value when it's... when it's grinding is just not there, you know? It's just not there. <clears throat> I want to be doing like trainer battles and stuff. I feel like that's just so way more interesting. So like when I'm doing this, I'm like, in my mind, I'm just going like, I should be doing this off stream. Karen, you should be doing this off stream. Um, come back when you have more trainers and stuff that's actually challenging. I say that, but then like grinding is how we lost Mankey. <laughs> so it's like, what the heck do I know? Nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know crap about crap. Yep. All right. We're not gaining very many levels anymore because we've leveled up. Uh, we've leveled up Taylor quite a bit, so she's level 12 now. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get everyone up to about level 18, 19, and probably level up my box Pokemon too, just so, you know, just in case we lose somebody that we can just slot a backup in there, like right there, and I'll do all of that off stream before next week. And then we will come back and do the rival battle, and then we'll proceed over to Misty, because even though she's got her Pokemon are like level 21 and stuff, like I think even if Bulbasaur is under level... I think Lando will still be able to take her out. Like, I don't think it's going to be a problem now that I have Bind Whip. So let's save. Yes, I would like to save the game. Yes. Okay. And as a backup save, I'm also going to do a slot save. Yes. And do um, a save to file. Okay, so now I have backups in case anything crazy happens. And we can... Let's switch back to webcam. Let's find somebody to raid, you guys. All right. That can be quiet. Man, we have got a good... We've got a good list of names, so... I just want to, like, highlight some of these. We've got Holly, Mr. Jane, Karen Jr., Pinky. we got some good names in there, you guys. And more. I didn't even read them all. All right, let's see who is live right now. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Declarify that we raided into a couple weeks ago is doing Final Fantasy, more Final Fantasy X again. We could do that. Um, this person, um, Aloe Merrill, which I think a friend raided into, and I, I liked them pretty well, is playing Stardew Valley, if y'all want to watch some Stardew Valley. What do you think, Final Fantasy X or Stardew Valley? What sounds more appealing? Mm -mm -mm. Let's check out the Stardew Valley stream. Stardew? Okay. That's what I was thinking, too. All right, let me mute the desktop audio real quick. Just want to listen to him for a second, make sure. This is who I think it is. Yes, this is who I think it is. Okay. Let's raid into him. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Um, next week, we're going to be doing more 
Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke, and on Saturday for Interstage Window, we're going to be talking about the fourth Harry Potter book, Goblet of Fire. Um, here's all my socials, where to find me. You guys know how this works. I do things just like all other um, content creators do. There's also links to my wish list, donations, all that good stuff down in the about. There's all kinds of beautiful icons there um, for all of the things. And um, Pokemon Karen is on some new shit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you so much. Well, I will see you all next week um, or on Saturday, whichever I see you first. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, as always, of course, to make it a great day. Have fun, guys. See you later.